Tonight, Dana Carvey is going prime time. Eight, seven central. Get the best of SNL's Dana Carvey at a special Wait, early well, time. Like it. Well, it's not special. Well, yes, that's why it's at a special time. We just want to pop. You it's are. the best of Dana Carvey. Did we mention the early time? Tonight, eight, seven central. Life is a The funny thing about going it alone in business is that you can't really go it alone. You set your own goals. You make your own plans. But along the way, you'll need a partner, like National City. We have the loans, credit lines, investments, and advice to fuel your dreams and to take you where you always wanted to go. National City. Follow your own lead. It's sale time at Kentuckiana's number one volume Chrysler Plymouth Dodge dealer. At Neil Huffman Chrysler Plymouth Dodge, we're closing out the 98 models. We have new 98 caravans loaded with equipment for only $15,599. Or choose a new 98 Dakota V6 for only $12,995. We have Kentuckiana's largest selection, and the prices will never be better. Neil Huffman Chrysler Plymouth Dodge on Shelbyville Road in St. Matthews. This is Wave 3, Kentucky's first television station. Coming up tonight at 5.30 on a special edition of Wave 3 News. Good evening and welcome to this special edition of Wave 3 News. I'm Craig Hoffman. Thanks for being with us. And what a day it's been. One folks at Churchill Downs and those at home will talk about for some time. We're talking about the Super Bowl of horse racing at the world's most legendary track, the Breeders' Cup. Wave 3 Sports Director Gary Fogel and my side kick on the weekends. Mike Hartnett witnessed this big event all day long. They're going to be joining us a little bit later from the infield at Churchill Downs. But another Wave 3 reporter is also at the racetrack today. Wave 3's Jim Mayer. We want to immediately go to Jim Mayer. And what a day, Jim. We understand a record crowd, 80-plus thousand there at Churchill Downs today. What did you think of this spectacular event? Oh, just super, Craig, and I can tell you exactly why there was 81,000 people out here. The weather was just superb. I mean, I, you know, the, the racing, we knew the racing would be great. I think everybody crossed their fingers about the weather. There's a lot of people, I think, decided at the last minute whether they'd come. Now, we've got a huge grandstand here, but not 81,000 people, so that means that a lot of people ended up just in the paddock standing, but for some, that was just fine. <laughs> loves the paddock at Churchill Downs, so much so that he and his wife Jamie got married here just two days ago. We're, we're, we're horse enthusiasts, so with all our friends coming in from out of town, we thought there was nothing better in Kentucky than to be here at Churchill Downs. And they were back bright and early when the gates opened for the Breeders' Cup, ensuring a prime spot right at the rail. And once the gates open, it's just like the races. You race to your spot, you settle down and wait, you know. When you get your opening, you gotta, you gotta go. The sun shone brightly on the fans. With temperatures in the 50s, you couldn't ask for a better day. A far cry from the first time the Breeders' Cup was held here. It had to be in the upper 20s. It was cold, windy. We ran the classic in the dark. The post time was actually set after sunset. The paddock is a great place to spot celebrities. This morning, Rick Bettino had a last-minute chat with <laughs> trainer Nick Zito. Bettino says the Breeders' Cup is different from the Derby, but the feelings are still the same. Here, every race is an all-star race. So it's a little different feeling, but it's the same, as far as I'm concerned, I still have the same butterflies inside. Paddock fans may miss the thrill at the finish line, but few seem to mind. You don't get to feel them running on the track back here, but what you lose by doing that and being here to see them come through, dress out, see the jockeys, see them get the boot up, you're not losing anything. A great day for race fans, whether you're in the paddock or whether you're in the grandstand. Not such a good day for Rick Bettina, however. He had two, two horses running, uh, one in the undercard when we talked to him, and also one actually in the Breeders' Cup, a Breeders' Cup race. Neither one of them won, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. I think uh, Rick Bettina will probably still be pleased, though. What, what a great day for racing. A big day for racing at Churchill Downs. Our Jim Mayer live on the backside. Thank you very much, Jim. And that official... Crowd total out there at Churchill Downs today, 80,452, and that surpasses the last biggest crowd, and it was right here at Churchill Downs of 71,600 and a few other seats. Again, I mentioned at the top of our special edition here at 530, at Sports Director Gary Fogel, and of course my sidekick here on weekend, Mike Hartnett, spent the day at the track, witnessed all this exciting uh, horse racing. And I tell you guys, that classic is going to be one to remember. 
it was a dandy, Craig, and um, you can tell by looking at us who spent most of the day on the backside and who spent most of the day in the press box. <laughs> yeah, great race. They did not set a record. They thought that they may, uh, you know, the secretariat record, 159 and two-fifths for a mile and a quarter. They did it in 202, so a couple of ticks off that. They got a little leg weary if you really look at it. You know, Swain was drifting out. Silver Charm drifted a bit but finished up strong. Uh, but it was a great day of racing overall. A couple of really exciting stretch finishes. Uh, great story about the Haas, uh, you know, after just one race in two years and he wins the the breeders cup mile and uh the breeders cup classic it looked like we you know looked like a wall of horses there at the 16th pole but uh awesome again pat Byrne has done it again all righty let's take another look at the breeders cup classic a great race today to wrap up the card and they're up in the breeders cup classic and coronado's quest is the first away from the gate Arch was off to a good beginning. Skipaway is in behind Arch in the early stages. Silver Charm is ahead of Skipaway, third. And the outside gentleman races forward. As they pass beneath the twin spires for the first time, it is Coronado's quest to be the pacemaker. Arch is second. And the two greys on the inside. Skipaway on the outside. Derby winner, Silver Charm. In behind them at the inside, European Swain. Running stag is just next to Silver Charm. Two legs back on the outside. It's gentlemen, then a break of three to Stablemates. Awesome again. And touch goal. Seven lengths. Back to Belmont winner, Victory Gallup. He is about a dozen lengths from the lead. The opening quarter goes in 23 and 2 fifth seconds. The opening half mile is 47 and 3. It's an honest pace here in the classic with Coronado's press leading the way. Popped by Arch. Skip away is tucked away on the inside. There appears to be a narrow opening for him, and there he goes. Gary Bailey asking a little bit more from Skip away. Silver Charm in a good spot on the outside as they approach the far turn. And gentlemen, gentlemen starts his engine as they move for the far turn. He's only three lengths from the lead. Swain is in behind horses, then running stag. Awesome again on the inside, touch goal. And still well behind is Victory Gallup. It is still Coronado's quest leading this all-star field around the far turn. He's there by a length and a half. Arches in between horses. Skip away is still down toward the inside. Here comes Silver Charm. Silver Charm coming with a bull rally on the far outside. Skip away toward the inside. And Swain is coming with his rally. And farther back it is awesome again. Victory Gallop is gathering momentum. One for one to go. Coronado's quest. Silver Charm and Swain, the three of them. Not today for Skip away. Victory Gallop continues to close. Silver Charm short lead. Here comes awesome again. Again, who's flying in between horses? A wild finish to the classic. Awesome again has won. Pat Byrne and Pat Day, very quickly. Pat, what a job you've done with this horse. He's undefeated now this year, and you think can make a case for horse of the year. Definitely. You know, he's had a perfect year. He's six for six. He beat the best horses in the world today, and he has done nothing wrong for us. And I think he's uh, definitely should be considered for horse of the year. He's a, he's a wonderful animal, and uh, maybe I made a big mistake the first part of the year, underestimating him a little bit. You know, we have a <clears throat> beautiful horse like Touch Gold come into the barn, and, you know, we expect great things from him and he's <clears throat> unfortunately he's turned out a little disappointment but horseman again <clears throat> i mean he's just i mean he's just a truly magnificent animal and mrs stronic bred him and andy bred this horse and i'm just happy to look back on my ear from last year and just right. i'm just uh, it's unbelievable that i'm here standing here with these people i'm just so uh, happy to be in the <laughs> position i'm in great well, I'll tell you what, you know, Pat Byrne, he really did a great job of plotting the race schedule for Awesome Again, spreading the races out. He had a perfect strategy to set him up for the first Saturday in November here in the Classic, Gary. And uh, Pat Byrne is just, just a master master trainer. And, uh, you know, he's been at it. A lot of people think he's an overnight success, but he's been at it quite a long time. But, boy, has he found his he he's in the groove right now. Well, I'm telling you, and, and you remember the Stephen Foster handicap back here in June. It's like a repeat. Of, well, not yeah. quite a repeat, but he did, uh, Awesome Again, did come on to beat Silver Charm in that race and uh, comes back and does it today. By the way, Skip Away finishes sixth in this race. He had to finish in the top three to have a career earning of over $10 million, retires the all-time leading money earner, thoroughbred history, breaking Cigars record. He does not do that, but boy, he goes out as a great one, winning seven of his last, or uh, let's see, seven of his last uh, nine races. That's right, and... and uh, I'm little... sorry, let me check, correct that. It was nine, nine of his in last row. 11. Yeah, yeah nine of his right. last 11. Uh, he had a remarkable year. A little bit later on in the show, we're going to hear from Jerry Bailey. Had a chance to talk to him and ask him about the horse of the year picture and he has some definite thoughts on it and we'll hear from jerry bailey uh, the jockey of skip away later on in the show all righty let's send it back to the studio and craig will be back with you in just a few minutes all right mike hartman and jerry fogel in the infield at churchill downs again eighty thousand plus a record crowd at the historic track today to see breeders cup 98 
And when people come to the track, they also have to leave the track. We will now want to go high up in the air in Air 3, and our meteorologist Kevin Harden is there keeping an eye on the crowd and some clouds out there, Kevin. Well, you got it, Craig. A very nice weather-wise day here for all the folks in town uh, for the Breeders' Cup race. Today we had mostly sunny skies through the afternoon, and temperatures topped out in the lower 50s as we expected throughout the week. So a very nice weather day for the folks. Clouds are now increasing, and now the folks are leaving Churchill Downs. Take a look. Uh, high above, you can see the crowd now beginning to leave along the uh, Longfield Avenue and Central Avenue there. A lot of taxi cabs uh, lined up, and uh, everyone pouring out uh, in the TARC buses as well. So the folks that didn't uh, adventure over in their own automobiles are picking up transportation from the TARC buses on over to Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. Uh, traffic not too bad right now. Most folks just now getting out onto the roadway, so it's kind of slow and go out of the parking lots. But uh, the roads are moving, and it's just going to take a little bit of time to get out of the Downs area. One concern, however, will be uh, for the folks that live around the area, you know, watch out for the pedestrians. It is getting dark, and there are lots of people out on the roadway. So uh, just take your time, and you'll soon get home. Let's go ahead and take a look at your forecast for this evening if you're headed out. Uh, anywhere around town. You, all right, uh, we'll come back in just a few minutes and give you your forecast uh, later in the newscast here, but uh, that'll wrap it up here. Craig from Air 3, we'll be checking with you periodically, uh, giving you updates on the traffic and the weather. As we go through the evening, though, clouds will be on the increase. Craig? It certainly seems like a little bit of patience will go a long way for the drivers leaving the track tonight. Yeah, uh, you know, d definitely just take it slow. Not only people leaving the track, but uh, people that may be heading out around uh, the Downs area. Uh, you know, you're just going to have to put up with some uh, traffic out here. So uh, just take your time, some slow go traffic uh, for the next hour or so. Craig? All right, Kevin Harden live in Air 3. We'll check back with you in just a few minutes. Of course, Louisville Police doing a good job getting the cars out of Churchill Downs like they do when the Derby takes place. We've got more ahead during this. Breeders' Cup special here on Wave 3 News. Find out about the infield crowd. It's not as rowdy as the Derby. And, of course, the Grandstead crowd, Breeders' Cup. It's all when we come back, so don't go away. What's your name? You're a pretty little girl. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? I coerced her to get into the car by just being friendly with her. Whenever I abused my stepdaughter, I made sure we was alone. Alone. Protect your children from stranger danger. An I-Team investigation, Monday at 5 and 11 on Wave 3 News. Bales Auto Mall. With big discounts on Chrysler, Plymouth, Jeep, Eagle, Nissan, and Hyundai is having a huge inventory clearance. For example, this 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4x4 for only $289 a month. Get a new 98 Grand Voyager SE for just $239 per month. Save on a 98 Nissan Sentra GXC for only $199 a month or buy for just $11,999. Drive a new 98 Hyundai Accent for just $145 a month or buy for $84.88 plus Bales entire pre-owned inventory. See our ad in the Jeff News New Albany Tribune and Courier Journal. Bales Auto Mall in Jeffersonville. Everybody's doing it. They're getting back on the road with Safe Auto. Calling 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for immediate coverage because they can. They're getting super low down payments and low, low monthly payments. Get the required minimum coverage you need from an insurance company that cares. It only takes one phone call. Call now. Everybody's doing it. Wave 3 troubleshooter Julie Stewart goes undercover, shopping to get the inside on your eyesight. Are your glasses out of focus? Wednesday at 6 on Wave 3 News. Wave 3's November to Remember. It begins with exclusive coverage of the 1998 Breeders' Cup races live from Churchill Downs. Investigative and educational reports parents can't afford to miss. All new episodes of your favorite NBC shows. Blockbuster movies. Plus, Wave 3 rings in the holidays as the official station for Brown and Williamson's Light Up Louisville Extravaganza. Exclusive, investigative, unforgettable. Wave 3's November to Remember. Run and drop, hit is off, they're beginning to make the run. Here comes Darren General, also moving up on the far side. Tactical cat is sand about six wide from the lead and five the back. But Groom is right and answer lively. Answer lively is coming away with the lead. Topic is charging hard to turn him for that lead now. Alley's Alley is putting in a late run toward the inside. Answer lively trying to hang out for another 100 yards. Alley's Alley toward the inside. Can't be on the outside. Can answer lively hold on. Here's Alley's Alley. Can answer lively hold on. Photo finish. 
Just a little bit of the action earlier today at Churchill Downs in the daylight, and the sun is setting, and you can see some of the lights from all the cars there, from live, from Air 3 at Churchill Downs. It's going to take a while if you are waiting for people to come back home, so be patient. And welcome back to our special 5.30 weekend edition of Wave 3 News, Breeders' Cup 98. People from all over the world are in Wave Country, and one of the hottest places when you're at the track to check out all the action at the Breeders' Cup happens to be in the grandstand. Somewhere, Way 3 News reporter Sabrina Kang spent the day, and she's at the Downs and joins us live. Sabrina? Good evening, Craig. I'm in the infield, but I spent most of the day in the grandstands. Cleanup has already started here at Churchill Downs, and because I was covering the grandstands, there's a lot of different elements, so I got an early start. In fact, it looked a lot like this when I got here. To bring you the most comprehensive Breeders' Cup report from the grandstands, we started before light. But even that early, there was plenty of action at the Downs, and it wasn't just horses and jockeys at the track this early. There's a line of fans waiting to get into the gate. Well, at least it's not as bad as it is for the Derby. For that, I don't think I'd even attempt to come down. That's a zoo. But uh, there's you know, a different type of crowd, different type of people, I think, for something a little bit more sophisticated, I think, come down to Breeders' Cup. Not quite like Derby time, but out-of-towners say there's no place to see horse racing like Churchill Downs. Canadians we met compare the races to their most popular sport. This is horse racing. And um, it's it's like um, if in hockey, Montreal Forum was like the shrine. This is the shrine of horse racing to me. And I get a tingle up my spine when I come here. And there were plenty of people here who may not be race experts, but say the races are just part of the event. Well, we all like the track. We love the horses. And we just got started going to the Derby together. And, uh, and we're all family and we're having a ball. Many Churchill regulars hope to make Breeders' Cup a family tradition here every year. We just live over a long field, so we come over here all the time. Oaks Day, Breeders, uh, Derby, and Oaks, everywhere. <laughs> and now Breeders. Yep, and Breeders. Yep. You know, I got to cover the grandstands for the Derby, and I have to say that the crowds were quite different. I heard a lot of accents floating around, Craig. A good time here at the Downs today. Sabrina, we began our special Way 3 coverage of Breeders' Cup 98 at 8 o'clock this morning, and I was surprised how many people were ready to get in and take part of the event. There were quite a few crowds. You know, we got here before, really the only people that were allowed in the Downs were the horses and the trainers, but we saw a lot of people milling around outside the gates, a lot of people excited for the day to start. All right, Sabrina King live at Churchill Downs. Thank you, Sabrina. Well, the infield was uh, anything but crowded today at the track. In fact, only a few hundred people watched the races from inside the infield. In contrast to the Derby, thousands packed the infield every year. Way 3 News reporter Eldora Jackson has that story. Hi there. The gates opened at 9 a.m., but only a few people straggled through onto the infield in the beginning. If you leave, have your hands stamped. It surprised Janine Anson, who has worked admissions for 10 years. She says she's always prepared for anything, even booze smuggling. <laughs> well, I don't always see the things that they smuggle in, but uh, they try to uh, slip alcohol in uh, most unusual things. Uh, even on children sometimes. <laughs> Not too many tried the smuggling act this time. It appears these folks are serious horse enthusiasts. So most just wanted to stake out a good spot to watch the races for the day. Jim Lively and his friend Sue Close drove all the way from Pittsburgh to see the Breeders' Cup. The drive is not bad at all, uh, and we're getting the cream of the crop thoroughbreds. I wish they'd have it here every year. The Breeders' Cup is definitely a lot different than the Derby. The crowds are a lot smaller, and they're relatively calm. There weren't any mudslides or drunks parading around making spectacles of themselves. In fact, Breeders' Cup had more of a picnic atmosphere. The only real oddity, a man wearing shorts in November. But he says he had a reason for his madness. But I figured I was going south, it was going to be warmer. <laughs> so that, that was fine. No matter what they wore, racing fans in the infield had a good and pretty sane time. Eldora Jackson, Wave 3 News. Thank you, Eldora. We've got more from Churchill Downs and Breeders' Cup 98 still to come. Up next, a look at some of the other things going on today, like John Glenn's return from outer space. The American legend gets a hero's welcome. And another stretch run from today's juvenile Phillies race. She's on the outside, and she is charging toward the front. 
also gaining ground as excellent meeting and free ring is there down toward the inside. Confessional is thrown in the town and as they come to the eighth pole, Silver Bullet Day strikes the lead on the outside. Excellent meeting is now driving up to be second and Baffert one two in the juvenile Phillies at the 16th pole. It is Silver Bullet Day. Excellent meeting. The final surge as they come to the line. Here's the wire. The Philly champion is Silver Bullet Day. Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, Whitney Houston, and Mariah Carey. This weekend on Entertainment Tonight. First, we catch up with Hollywood's hottest couple. And then, we're behind the scenes as a pair of singing divas belt it out. Plus, from Beverly Hills to the beaches of Malibu, it's a high-priced open house as we take you to the addresses of some of Hollywood's most exclusive estates this weekend on E.T. Tonight at 7 on Wave 3. There's a feeling out on the great divide Freedom you feel down deep inside In the spirit of the rocks coming through The Buckhead Mountain Grill is calling you Buckhead Mountain Grill Serves large stuff for good and have you to play Buckhead, roots are in the rock It's my heart and the rock in the air Come taste the Rockies Golf with Butch Harmon is brought to you by Hilliard Lions. The high soft shot over the bunker onto the green. The lob shot. I'm going to take a long, lazy swing. One thing I want you to do is loosen your grip pressure so you can have a little play in your hands. Open the club face a little, loosen your grip pressure, long, lazy swing, and follow through. The lob shot. I know you'll love it. If your investment program isn't performing up to par, maybe it's time you tried a different driver. Hilliard Lines. Professional advice. Proven performance. There are countless ways to approach each shot. But only a few folks can put you on the green. Hilliard Lines. Professional advice. Proven performance. The most advanced forecasting technology in the hands of the area's most experienced meteorologists. Kevin Harding, Tom Wills, and John Belsky. Storm Center 3 on Wave 3 News. Wave Country's news leader. The stands are empty at the world's most legendary track, Churchill Downs. As folks file out and go home, we're going to be having the weather forecast and another live report from Air 3 in just a moment. But some other stories of the day to catch you up on, including John Glenn's historic second journey into space. It all ended today. The new landing at Kennedy Space Center was almost delayed because of strong winds, but the landing turned out picture perfect. And if you were with us earlier during our long afternoon special at the Breeders' Cup, you saw it live right here on Wave 3. John Glenn was ready to stay in space, but his wife and family eagerly awaited his return with a stick of gum, a family tradition. Outgoing House Speaker Newt Gingrich spoke for the first time today. That's right, outgoing. Outside his Georgia home, Gingrich says the time is right for him to give up his position, as well as his seat in Congress. This story all broke late yesterday afternoon. Gingrich says the Republican Party can best move forward by this decision. He'll officially step down when his term ends in January. A beautiful day for Breeders' Cup 98 and darkness is settling in and it's getting a little chillier outside. We want to now go back to Air 3 and our meteorologist Kevin Harded as folks uh, continue to file out of Churchill Downs and they're going to find some cooler temperatures tonight, Kevin. Yeah, Craig, uh, once the clouds started to move in, things really did cool down. A very nice afternoon, though, while the sun was out, uh, we enjoyed some pretty nice temperatures with highs today in the lower 50s. Let's take a look out uh, right now. No weather problems, though traffic is heavy out of the Downs. Uh, right now we're flying right over Churchill Downs and we're coming up on Central Avenue here. You can see the cars backed up there. All the roads around the Downs have cars backed up on them. You see the red uh, lights there. Those are the tail lights of the cars for, uh, from the motorists trying to get out of here. And uh, no wonder why with 81-some thousand people at the Downs today, uh, those folks now trying to get home. So we'll continue to monitor the traffic up here. Let's get into the weather right now outside. It's cool. Our temperature is now dropping back into the 40s and will gradually be dropping into the upper 30s overnight. You see a... Uh, 
series of uh, rain showers going on out to our west. Even notice some of the blue and pinks up across portions of Iowa, now moving into parts of Illinois. That is uh, some snow or freezing precipitation, but the rain through portions of Missouri will gradually be moving our way. Future Radar 3000 will help us better pinpoint when the rain will be here in wave country as the next day or so goes on. And yes, there is rain in the forecast, especially by early tomorrow morning there, you see. We'll have a chance for some scattered showers around the white up around portions of uh, Iowa and northern Illinois is some snow, light snow expected there. We'll take you through the day on Sunday to 7 p.m. The rain will fade away here. And then as we go on into the day, Monday, once again, will remain dry for the first part of the day. And then on into Monday night, you can see some more rain showers developing out across portions of Illinois. So that gives us rain chances not only for tomorrow morning, but once again on the day Tuesday. Let's map it out for you. Overnight tonight, we're going to have becoming cloudy skies. Rain will be possible by, say, 3 a.m., 38 degrees, the overnight low. On the way for tomorrow, you'll notice mostly cloudy skies, a chance of a scattered morning shower. Otherwise, we'll remain dry, though cloudy, 51. The extended forecast has temperatures in the 50s there for tomorrow. Then we'll raise up into the 60s by Monday. No rain on Monday, but another chance of rain there on Tuesday, 64. And then Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures drop back into the lower 50s there, Craig. So the forecast, uh, yeah, rain moving in here on Sunday, and um, it looks like it skipped the Breeders' Cup, which is good news for all our visitors here in town. Yeah, we had some good sunshine today, and I think one thing would helped out, uh, it really wasn't all that windy today, Kevin. Yeah, uh, that would make a difference as well, Craig, but I think the key point there is sunshine. You know, the last two or three days, we remain mostly cloudy, kind of cool, gray, overcast, uh, kind of those blah days, but today, yeah, the sunshine out in full force for the majority of the day, and we're just now seeing the clouds move in. And I believe last weekend right here, you said it would be sunny and around 50, so great job. Thank you, Craig. Check back with you later. Kevin Harden live in Air 3. And more to come from Churchill Downs, including a closer look at the juvenile race today. And we may see some of those horses again at the Kentucky Derby next year. More as Wave 3's Breeders' Cup coverage continues. Don't go away. Carriage Ford announces the mother of all sales. Crazy about a Ford truck? You bet. Carriage Ford has available a huge selection of one-owner XLs, XLTs, and Eddie Bowers. That's right, Eddie Bauer Ford trucks. No money down and only $179 a month. No money down, $179 a month. Think you're dreaming? No way. This sale is as real as a country mule is stubborn. Don't miss it. Carriage Ford trucks. Best by a country mile. With every change in life comes a wealth of opportunities. But to seize those opportunities, you sometimes need a partner, like National City. Tell us where you want to go. Share with us the goals you want to achieve. Then let National City provide you with the home equity loans, car loans, and investment opportunities to make them happen. National City. Follow your own lead. How do you make a kitchen or bath beautiful? Hmm. That works. The Home Depot has everything you need to make it look and work great. From faucets to appliances, flooring to cabinets. Their designers can help you make your dream kitchen or bath come true. That's the beauty of the Home Depot. Change the way you view weather forever with Wave 3's Future Radar 3000. We can track the exact time that rain is going to fall, and then it helps you plan ahead. With Wave Country's uncertain weather, you need the power to plan for the future. We can zoom in on a specific area over the next couple of days to tell what the chance of any severe weather occurring may be. The latest technology in forecasting. Wave 3's Future Radar 3000. Only on Wave 3. Wave Country's news leader.